for those of you guys that are new here welcome and for those of you guys that tune in all the time thank you so much for all of your support and welcome back so it's no secret that everybody has a hard time matching their foundation color and I have a hard time as well because I go to the store and I mean you have this large selection of foundation but there's never going to be a perfect match. There's never going to be a perfect shade that will match exactly your skin colors. I always end up buying two foundations that I have to end up mixing and I still don't even get the perfect match. So the other day I was looking through my foundations because my favorite foundation you guys already know is the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin. This is my all time favorite foundation. I love the formula but it doesn't match me. It does match me in, um, during summer when I'm really really tan but right now that I'm a little bit more pale it's really dark and the shade down from that is really pink so I kind of get stuck trying to reach for foundations that I already have in my collection and so far nothing nothing has matched my skin color and I haven't really been happy with any formula so what I decided to do today is why am I so out of breath So what I decided to do is get into my foundation drawer, take everything out, sort it by um, high-end foundations and drugstore foundations, and mix everything together and see what shade turns out. That should be really exciting. And what formula as well. I'm going to put it on my face, and then we'll get to see kind of what shade we come up with, and we're going to see how it wears throughout the day. Why am I getting so close? I feel like the, the more I talk, like, the closer I get. Fingers crossed we get a good match. Can you guys imagine if we get like a perfect color match? That would be like a dream come true. Yeah, no. Well, let's get started. So this is what my foundation drawer looks like. There is a lot in here. So this is what it's looking like so far. I just pulled everything out of there. This is my little bowl where I'm going to mix everything. So before we get started, one thing that I do want to do is I have repeats of most foundations because they're different shades and I usually have to mix them. So what I'm going to do is whatever I have repeats of, I'm going to test them on my skin now so we can kind of determine which one is closest to my skin color so then I can add that to the mix because I don't want to do anything that's too dark or too, too light. I'm going to go ahead and start with my drugstore foundations. Let's start with the l'oreal true match foundation this is what this one looks like i have two of them or w4 and then w6 so i'm going to put them on my skin now and then we'll kind of see which one is closest to my skin color so that we can keep that and add it to our customized foundation today so this is w4 that looks pretty close and this is w6 oh this is dark this is going to be really dark i think that's closest to my skin color right now so we're going to stick with w4 add that to the pile so this next one is Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This one was really popular. Well, what year was it? Like 2017? Those of you guys that don't know, they do have a dewy smooth and then they have a matte. I haven't worn this on its own, so I don't know how the finish is. I've worn this on its own and I love it. It leaves my skin so dewy. It's $7.99 compared to the $40 for this foundation. And then for this one, I go through this so fast. So, so fast. And this one lasts me long. And for this one, I did pick up three different colors. So we're going to start with the matte poreless and this one is in shade 128 warm nude so the next color that i'm going to try is the dewy smooth and this is in color 210 sandy beige and then the next one is going to be 220 in this natural beige and this is another dewy smooth you know what i'm going to do since um they're both different finish this one is i keep showing you guys the wrong side the matte and then the the dewy, I'm going to put both of them into the mixture. That's pretty much it on the drugstore duplicates. Everything else I just have a single color of. And I'll show you guys really quick what those foundations are. I do have a BB cream from LA. What is this? LA Girl. This tinted moisturizer from Sonia Cashew. But I'm going to put this one in there. I also have this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This one I did try one time. I don't like a matte finish, so I wasn't a big fan of this. Another one is a Neutrogena Shine Control Make. This one does have um, SPF in it. So another one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation. And this one, I don't remember trying. I'm pretty sure I did. So I'm going to put this one into the mix. So that's pretty much it for the drugstore foundations. All right, so next we're going to do our high-end foundations and we're going to start swatching our repeats. So the first foundation that I have here is the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I have two colors. I have the Warm Nude and Nude. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know why. And I kind of tend to buy foundations and then I try them one time and if I don't like it, I just 
forget about it. So this one's gonna be in a color nude. Right now, in the mirror, it looks really pink, but in the monitor, it doesn't look that bad. So this one's gonna be in warm nude. I think we're gonna use the warm nude. Okay, the next one that we are going to test out is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. I have purchased this one before and I liked it. So I do have three different shades here. I have Y235. The shade names on these are a little bit confusing, but um, this one is Y235. I have Y255 and then I have Y245. Start with the Y245. 35 and fucking shit it looks light this is the y i don't know y245 and then the next one is y255 that is weird okay so this one looks pink obviously and way too light this one look these two look very similar but i don't know if you guys can see this one looks a little bit more pink than this one but they're almost the same shade the undertone is different so this one has more pink and this one has more yellow. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that because I can see it a lot in person. So I think that my shade is the Y255. I'm so glad that I'm doing this. This is so exciting. So another one that we're going to put in is a Smashbox foundation. And this is a Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Um, What is the price on this? Hey Siri, what is this, the price for this Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation? So the price for this foundation is $36, which is not bad. I do have all of the colors down there, and I just kind of reach for the ones that look closest to the foundation that I have already laid out. These look like the closest one. We have like a pretty light one and then a little darker. So let's swatch the 2.0 first. Then shade 2.35, way too dark, but these colors are really good. I do like that they have more of a yellow undertone, not a lot of foundations do that. Most of them just, they have a lot of foundations that have a lot of pink undertone, which doesn't help us Latinas very much. Okay, so we're going to put the 2.0 in there. So the next one that we're going to um, swatch and compare is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. So I'm assuming this is similar to the, the liquid foundation, but this is just in a stick form and it does have a contour side on the other end so it tells you here foundation and then soft contour at the bottom i do have two different shades of this one and then this is the stick 2.0 not 2.0 2.2 .2. this is dark this is 2.1 so we're even putting cream foundations into our mixture All right, our next swatch and compare is going to be um, an IT Cosmetics product. This is the Bye Bye Lines Foundation. So the first shade that we're going to try is in the shade Medium. And then this is Light. They don't have a very large shade range. They just tend to stick to Medium Light, Fair, and then Deep. So for this one, I think I am going to keep both of them in because mixing both of them, we would probably get a closer shade to my actual skin color as you guys can see if we mix both of them together so the next swatch and compare is going to be by Kat Von D and it's going to be the Locket foundation I am not a fan of any Kat Von D products I'm not a fan of hers I'm not promoting this brand whatsoever I don't use these foundations they are in there from before when I used to support her but not anymore and I do have my own personal reasons why I don't um, I don't want to share that now, but I might share that one day. But I do have the foundations, and we're going to see which one we're going to put into the bunch. I just want to be fair, and I really want to use everything that I do have. So the shades that I do have are light warm and light neutral, and that's 45 and 47. This is 45, way too light, 47. Oh, that's really gray, but that's probably going to be closest to my skin color. So we're going to put 47 into the mix. All right, so that's it for all the swatch and compare foundation. Oh, no. <laughs> we have one more. So we have these Benefit. These are from Benefit Cosmetics. So I have Spin the Bottle and Jump Rope. This is Spin the Bottle, too pink and too light. And this one is Jump Rope. Fuck. Damn, that's so fucking dark. Okay. Maybe I was using them as like highlighting contour. Yeah, I think that's what I was using them for. But we're going to keep the lighter shade, which is... Um, spin the bottle. We're going to put this one into the mixture and then this one is going to go to the side. We have an Illamasqua, this Illamasqua, whatever. Illamasqua foundation, rich liquid foundation, an RF 140. 
we have Marc Jacobs foundation and this is in medium Y360. Another foundation that I'm going to put in is the Benefit Cosmetics Hello Happy foundation. This is a soft blur foundation. I didn't like the formula at all. I had to mix three shades together to get something that's pretty similar to my skin tone but this is probably the closest one I'm going to put five in there. The next one is this NARS foundation and this is a sheer matte foundation and this is in the shade medium three. The next one we're going to put in is my Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is my favorite foundation. Next is going to be the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I really like this foundation. It also doesn't match my skin that good, so I stopped wearing it for that reason. But other than that, the formula is pretty good. It is more of a full coverage. And then this one's in the shade Golden Beige. The next one is Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is a one and done Hydro Complex Perfection. So this is also a very light foundation and it has SPFs. So it's pretty nice. This is in shade me. We have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, stick foundation. Not bad. This is in shade Y375. I'm gonna put this one in the mixture. I don't know if Frankie Rose is considered as drugstore or high end, but Frankie Rose. Another foundation that I've used only a couple of times and I just recently picked up is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. We're gonna put this one in there as well, and this is in shade Driftwood. Another foundation that used to be one of my favorites is this um, YSL. It is in a different language, so I don't know what the name of the foundation is, but it's in shade B30. Another one of my favorite foundations is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is something that I wear quite often. Everybody compares it to the Kat Von D foundation, the Locket foundation. This is 100 times better. If you guys want a full coverage foundation, I totally recommend this. Most of the time I use the 4.0 and I'm going to put that into the, the mixture. We have an Hourglass foundation. This one is Immaculate Found Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free. The next one is going to be this um, Air Flush Foundation by Dior. This is in shade 201. I like this foundation. It's not my favorite, but I do use it. Another one we're going to put into the mixture is the Bounce Foundation from Beauty Blender. This one, obviously, I use it. I don't like the formula. It's too matte for me. It's not bad, but it's just not something that I do like. And this was in shade 3.30. We have a Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation, 4.25 Natural Tan. Last but not least, another IT Cosmetics um, CC Cream. This is an oil-free matte poreless finish, full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum plus SPF 40. So this one is in medium tan. I was probably really dark when I was using this. Yep. Okay, so now that's it for all of the other high-end foundations. And that is all. Let's get started. Let's start mixing. Okay, now that we have our custom foundation. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and do my normal skin prep routine. What I'm going to start off with is my Pixi Primer. I use this every day before my foundation. And this is just to ensure that my skin is nice and clean before I apply any products on it. I'm gonna let my skin dry. Now I'm gonna use my uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Moisturizer. I use this every day. It Cosmetics doesn't have my favorite foundations, but they do have some of my favorite moisturizers. So I'm not gonna apply any primer on my face because I never really do. I'm going to take this foundation brush from um, Smashbox. This is a full coverage foundation brush. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dip it into the foundation just a little. And I'm going to start applying. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. It's a little light. But once we blend it, it's going to blend in nicely. It does feel like more of a full coverage foundation. And I think that's because most of the foundation that we put in there was more of a matte and full coverage foundation. But it looks good so far. I really want to know what you guys think. How it looks to you. Because I feel like it's kind of making my skin look really dry. And it doesn't want to like settle into my skin. It's kind of just sitting on top of it. And again, like I told you guys, I don't like a full coverage, but I like even coverage. And I feel like this is covering in some areas. And then in some areas, it's just not. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, what do you guys think about the color? Like, does it match me? Can't really tell. I mean, I don't think the color is bad. I think it looks pretty good. My only issue is the application. I feel like the longer that I let it sit, the more dry. Oh my god, 
That's so sad. What you want, bro? Uh, what are you talking to? My camera? Okay. Let's go ahead and finish this bitch up. Que fea. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it up off camera. I'm going to set my foundation, finish my eyebrows, put some lashes on, some lipstick maybe, and see if I can look a little bit better. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all done. All right, guys, so this is where we are so far. My skin is so, so dry. Like, I feel like I'm like this. Like, it's just going to, like, shrivel up and die. That's what it feels like. Like, my skin is, like, flaky right here on my nose. Right here in this area is like flaking and I normally am not dry like that at all. <sighs> this is what we look like. I kind of look a little white. But I haven't bronzed or contoured or blushed my face at all yet. I gotta say like the foundation did set really really well. So it is really matte. It doesn't look so bad now that it is set as it did at first when I showed you guys. Pretty much set in place. It's not moving anywhere. Alright so now that that is all on I'm gonna take my Morphe setting spray. And I'm going to set everything. I already did some bronzer, some blush, some highlight, some lashes. Everything is on and I also set it with my Morphe setting spray. And this is what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about my day. I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to do some laundry, finish up some work that I have to do here at home. And I'll do some check-ins throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, before I take it off, I'll do my final check-in so we can see how this custom mixing all my foundations together foundation worked out. All right, guys. So I'm here for our first check-in of the day. Um, this foundation has been on for... Four hours now. Ow. I made dinner. I cut my fucking finger, of course. This foundation is not moving. Like, it's so matte. I'm not doing anywhere. I mean, I do have, like, this staining here. This always happens for me looking down. Yeah. Four hours in. I will be back later for another chicken. And I have lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back with the final check-in. This is what my foundation looks like now. It is now 9 p.m. and it has been on for 9 hours now. It held up pretty well. It is a little, it's starting to get a little dewy now around these areas, but it is starting to break up around here, around here, around my nose, under my eyes. I mean, but other than that, like if you look at this area here, it doesn't look too bad other than the fact that you can see my pores and then I'm starting to get a few little bumps around my cheeks. Um, mixing all of my foundations together wasn't really a success. I don't think it was. Itchy boobs, itchy boobs, itchy boobs. Oh, I have makeup all over my shirt. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. I know that I closed out my video last night, but after closing that video out, I did go in my room and looked at my makeup really well, and I realized that I really didn't give it a fair shot. The whole purpose of me mixing all of my foundations yesterday was to get the perfect color match, and I feel like I wasn't really judging it on the color. I was more, I was judging it more on the formula, which wasn't the purpose of me mixing all the foundations together, but that's kind of where I went towards the end of the day. I, think I kind of achieved that. I didn't get to see it yesterday in the daylight because I was kind of indoors doing mommy things. I didn't get to see it in the sun. And that's why I decided to really wear it again today. It's gonna be another mom slash work day. So I'm gonna go pick up Jonah right now from school. Then I'm gonna be heading to work and then picking up Mario and then just doing um, work and mom things. So right now I am standing in front of a window and to me, I have a pretty good match. I think this is the closest that I've ever gotten to, to matching my foundation to my skin. And let me know what you guys think. I mean, to me, it looks pretty, pretty good. I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. And this is where we are. I mean, after setting powder and everything, it looks pretty good. Right now it is 9.30 a.m. This is my first check-in and I'll show you guys what it looks like later. Is that a picture? I know. Hi. All right, guys. So this is my final check-in. See, this foundation is ready to come off. What did we learn? We learned that mixing all your foundations together 
will probably get you the best match to your skin tone, but will not give you the best formula. My skin looks horrible. I just want to wipe it off. So I'm still on the hunt for the perfect matching foundation. Keeping our fingers crossed that we find it. And I hope that you guys got to see what it looks like in different lighting. Really bad, I know. Thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! together is that it was a huge fail with the formula and it was a success it throughout the day because I wouldn't recommend it I mean we accomplished what we wanted which was